Welcome to Worksheet Systems. Worksheet Systems is a cloud-based data management platform that allows anybody to organize their data online and build custom business applications with no coding. To log into Worksheet Systems, click on the login button over here on the right and you'll be given the option to log in with your Google, Facebook or any of your Microsoft accounts, like Microsoft 365 or Outlook or anything else Microsoft supports. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll log in as a registered user. Once you are logged in, the best way to get started is to get your data into data tables and then you have the option to build your dashboards. To create a data table, click on the icon over here, then click on Create New Data Table, click Save and this gives you a new blank table. You can enter the data yourself or you can go back to the menu over here and import your data. So I will import the data from a CSV file. You can do some customization and you can create a new table. Click on import data and we have created our sample Superstore sales table which you can see over here has 2086 rows. You can see the names of all your fields if you click on this icon over here. You can see up here there are 2086 rows and the maximum number of rows per page is 1000. If you click up here at the top of each column you can see the filters. So we can click on the order priority column and select for example high and critical and then apply. Then we can apply a further filter, so let's just show customers in Italy and Brazil. And now you can see we are showing only 88 rows. To clear all the filters, click on the icon up here and select clear all and set filter. You have the option to do some formatting, so let's move the dates next to each other by dragging them across here. If you want to change the date format, Click on a date, select Format Column to change them to the format that you want. We could also move Profit next to Sales. We might want to show or make it clear that both these columns are in dollars. Then we can also add a footer summary at the end of these columns. You can of course modify any of the data in the table so if we change this to $200 and this one to $1,000, then click Save to save the changes. And if you want to see what has been changed, click on View Row Revisions and you can see what has been changed and who has changed it. Here it says Demo User. And you also have the option to view the table as it was before it was changed by clicking the Filter tab and setting a time prior to the point when the changes were made. As a test, what I can do now is import the original table data again. We don't want to create a new table, we want to merge the data with our existing table. Now, when we import the data, we can see that only two rows have been updated, which are the two rows we modified earlier. Here are the two rows with the figures reverted back to their original values. And if we now check the revisions again, we can see that this latest revision has been recorded. We started off with $112.44, then changed it to $200, and now after we import, imported the original data again, it's been changed back to the original value of $112.44. If you click on View Table Changes, you can also see a summary of what has happened. We have a total of 2,086 rows, two of which were modified and then modified again when we imported and merged the original table data. And if you want to see the details, just double click on any of the changes to see more information. You can apply filters to a column by clicking up here. But another really useful feature is the ability to create side filters. Click up here, then we can choose, for example, Customer Country and add that. 
We can also add customer city. Enable the checkboxes at the side. You have a list of operations here. And in this example, we want to show country with multiple cities. And now those filters we have created appear here in the sidebar. You can select your country from the drop down menu. So let's choose Brazil. And you can see we have four cities. So let's choose Sao Paulo and Resende. Then perhaps we want to add Rio as well and select again. And of course, if we choose Spain, then we get the option to filter by Spanish cities. Worksheet Systems also gives you the option to create different dashboards. Click on Create Dashboard, and you have the option to create dashboards for one table or for multiple tables. Choose the layout you want, then click on the icon over here, click on Table Query, and now you can create a different view. You can add columns like this. So now we have a completely different view from our original layout. We can click on settings and change to a different layout and then click edit. We can move the panels around. If you want to add a new query panel, click new query. So we could show, for example, an aggregated table showing cities and profit and sales by city or even by country and then by city. And then in field properties, we can change the order. We can do some formatting here. So we want to see them in dollars and see a footer summary. We save changes, come out of edit mode, click up here to give the new layout a name. Let's call it sales per city. You can also set panel groupings from this panel. Now everything is grouped by country. Or you can hide the groupings by selecting no grouping. We have some empty space up here, which we can fill with some eye-catching charts. Click on Edit Mode and New Query. Choose Table Query. Select Aggregated Table. And for this example, we can choose Customer Segment and then Profit. If we click on the General tab, we can name our table. So let's call it Profit Per Segment. Then click on Chart View, Enable Chart View. And we will display this example as a pie chart. You can see it has been added here. And you can move it to where you want it to appear. We can add one more chart to fill up the rest of the space. This time we'll choose Product Category and Profit. Give it a name, Profit Per Category. This time we will create a chart. Move it into position. Close the Edit Mode and you can see the new charts on our dashboard. What you can also do now is add a side filter as we described earlier on. So let's filter by country and city. And when you apply a filter, this is applied to all the queries on the dashboard. These are the results for Venezuela. And then we can filter this further by city. Worksheet Systems dashboards allow you to present your data based on many different things, like the story you want to tell or the audience you are presenting to. So you could, for example, have one dashboard for senior management and another dashboard for other departments showing them different data. You can easily share your dashboards. Just click on the Share button up here, and then you can set permissions, read, edit, customize, and share. All the panels on the dashboard are separately customizable through this icon up here at the top of each panel. You can have different types of queries, simple, pivoted, or even SQL, of really any complexity that you want to write. 
So I can enter this query and group by customer country, run the query, and you can see the results here. You can see here some of the different dashboards I can create and the different filters. So I hope this video was useful and if you need any more information about worksheet systems, please get in touch.